This video helps us to learn about analysis of combinational circuits. First of all, the combinational circuits is nothing but where the output is a function of inputs only, the presence in present inputs only. If we are having n inputs, the output m outputs will depend on the present inputs only, but not previous inputs. Two procedures will be there in the combinational circuits. The first one is analysis where a circuit will be given to you. We are supposed to identify in how the circuit functions and this function we can explain in terms of a function in terms of sigma or expression or truth table. The second one is a design process. So the design process is the specifications of the problem will be given to you and you are supposed to de determine the circuit design a circuit for it so the, here the function problem statement can be given as boolean function or truth table so in this video we are going to see about the analysis process this is a circuit given to you now you are supposed to determine the functionality of this circuit first we will see using boolean expression approach so if you see this uh, circuit here we are having abc for the in as the inputs for and gate for or gate and similarly for uh, various kinds of gates here so first we are going to determine the output of the first level gates this is the called what we say as first level this is the second level gate third level fourth level fifth level now first we are we are uh, we got first level outputs a b c a plus b plus c a b a c and then b c the output of the second level we are going to determine now a b plus a c plus b c so you can observe that we got function f2 expression here itself then third level and fourth level at fourth level we have simplified and observed that it is a b bar c bar plus a bar b c bar plus a bar b bar c now finally function expression will be obtained as f1 equal to a b bar c bar plus a bar b c bar plus a bar b bar c plus a b c and f2 as a b plus a c plus b c we can observe that this is nothing but the functionality of full adder the same we can do using truth table approach so when we are doing with a truth table approach we are going to get the outputs f1 f2 in terms of ones and zeros that is when we are having three variables a b c we are going to get eight combinations that is 0 to 7 for first combination triple zero we are substituting substituting the values of a b c as the all zeros and finding out what is f1 and f2 you can observe the first level output second level output third level fourth level and fifth level output now here you can observe that f1 is 0 and f2 is also 0 so write in truth table f1 and f2 as 0 0 then next combination 0 0 1 substitute the same values now we can see that f1 is 1 and f2 is 0 repeat the same process for all the combinations of abc and complete the truth table so in this fashion you are supposed to complete the truth table now we got all the values for f1 and f2 for every combination of abc we are supposed to get the expressions for f1 and f2 using kmaps or directly any procedure we can use to get the expressions for f1 and f2 so here we are using kmap and f1 is expressed in the form of sum of min terms and f2 we are expressing in the form of sum of min terms so these expressions are nothing but for sum and carry of the full adder f1 behaves as a sum of the full adder and f2 behaves a, as a carry of the full adder so this circuit behaves as a full